the 2016 Ironman World Championship is down and play with it. I can't remember when I last suffered so much and uh, right now I'm just so happy to be here. Thank you so much for all your support. You guys are amazing. You guys make this race happen. It was a great experience and that's what it's all about in our sport to yeah. make great experiences and yeah it I will that day I'll never forget. All right, welcome back. Uh, let's continue with the show now. And uh, let's tell you that you can be part of everything that we're doing. You can uh, fill us in with your thoughts and, and your comments um, and tell us uh, things um, about the show that you love us to talk about. You can do that by sending us a mail, sports this morning at channelstv.com. You can also get across to us on Facebook at this channels iPhone Sports. You can do it on Twitter at channels underscore sports. All of this just to get your views across to us and of course speak up and be heard across the world. As you already know, channel television is global. So uh, you're speaking out and your voice is echoing across Everywhere. the globe. All right. Yeah, definitely. Uh, we'll be talking about the Falcon Edge right now because they are in Abuja training. But the thing is, you know, the coach have actually given a deadline to the foreign base players simply because most of them are still not in camp. And there's another issue situation whereby some of the girls, you know, they, they're in camp, but somehow the league is still on and they have to leave weekend to get to play for you know their, their clubs they don't have a choice they need to do that you know and another thing is sometimes they have midweek games we schedule games and all that they also need to leave and also you know play for their clubs coach that ever will be talking to us this morning because some of these players they actually want to report to camp immediately happens to be the big one belarus based aminat yakubu uchena kanu she's based in the u.s she, that's where she plays her football valerie Awulewa, she is in Belgium because you have a she went in his way. She plays in Kazakhstan. They failed to they failed to meet the October eighth yeah, deadline. So right now it's been extended to October sixteenth. So see if these girls will be there for the coach to actually know that yes, he's got a team for the tournament starting thirteenth of next month. Because today is eleventh already, so like a month to go now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, I, I think we are acting as if we didn't know we, we there was yes. a calendar. We, you know, we are, we are rushing our plans. We should do more than just qualifying for tournaments because that's what we do. That's why we can't harmonize, you know, having a team, putting the guys that are foreign based and the local, you know, without allowing all of these things to disrupt our plans. Even carefully laid out plans, there will be itches. But when you've planned it out, you know, you can walk around uh, the itches. And when you read things like this, we know what's what happened to the Flamingos, and you, re you know that next year, all our male teams will not be in all the tournaments involving. And now, out of from the under 17 to the under 20, 20 to the Super Eagles. Eagles. And now, for the ladies that have always consoled us, one has gone down. We're left with two. two. And what you're reading about the two, well, maybe Falcons is not yet time.
to panic. But for the Falconets, yeah, I, think I, I don't like. I don't like what I'm what, what, what I'm hearing, what I'm reading. I, I don't like. It. <laughs> you know, most of us don't like it because what well, Nigerian Football Federation will definitely tell you that. Not really tell you. We, we've seen it. I mean, they don't have the cash to actually organize international friendlies for these girls. But sometimes we just feel okay. They can have these national, you know, national uh, uh, playoffs. I mean, you just go around the state and play against different clubs. That also will help them. We'll be talking to Peter Dedevo. He's the uh, coach of the under-20 national team. Okay, we'll be talking to him later on the program. But the thing is, you know, when you're telling the foreign base players to actually come to camp a month to when a tournament is going to start, but I think the clubs may not just want to release them. I know some clubs definitely will want to. Christy O'Hara, who she's already in camp. I mean, according to the coach, he says, look, she's been... You know, actually helping those ones that are here, you know, to actually step up in their game and all that. But it's difficult, you know, for these clubs to actually release their players a yeah. month to a tournament. And a tournament is almost a month also. So for a very long time, you're not going to be having your key players playing for you in the it, club. It, so it, I still think all about some of these players will just come two weeks to the tournament. It's all about planning, Cecilia. We have this problem with the guys. You know, the club pays these players. Mm -hmm. And you have to respect the clubs. But you see, if we plan, look at the calendar, speak to the coaches ahead of time, let them know the plans, you know, or, or, or find or, a way or, to break your training, training. regime. Yes. Uh, okay, six months time we're going to do this, three months time we're going to do this. Not wait till the tournament is one or, one or two months. packing like and 30, if, 40 players to camp. You know, it happened with the other 20 last year. We had like seven or eight players that did train with the team that just went to that tournament based on personal recognition and they flopped. flopped yeah. Kelechi Yalacho, Isaac Success, all of them, they flopped. I hope it doesn't happen with the girls. Yeah, I hope so too. Coach Dadevo is ready now. He's talking to us from Abuja, of course. The girls definitely have some training section this morning. Good morning, Coach, and welcome to the program. Good morning, Coach, and welcome to the program. Now, the question I want to ask is, Thank I mean, we've been, we've been reading everywhere that, look, it's difficult for you to actually get the girls together because some players have failed to report to camp. How are you coping with this issue? Well, how will I cope with it? Well, I'm trying to cope with it. Uh, I have taken the matter to the, the Federation. The Federation says they have nothing to do about it. So I'm, 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 just, I'm just managing with it. For, for you now, I mean, from the players you have, because it's a month to the tournament, today is 11th already, starting on the 13th. We know three or four days to the time you should have your final team. The ones you have right now in camp, do you think they can actually make the crop of the players that will be playing in the tournament? I didn't hear you. That place is very noisy. The, the crop of players you have right now, do you think they can actually, you know, make up, you know, the ones you're going to select your final 23-man list for the tournament? Yes, they can. They can. Yes, they can. But it simply means you don't have to wait for the foreign base players to come before you know that you have your plan, for, you know, your plan outlined for the the, the, the tournament. Uh, my foreign players will surely come. They will surely come. But if, if you don't come, I have a plan B for them. Okay. I have a plan B for the team. All right, Coach, this is Yemi Adebayo, and um, I, I want to ask, um, from the angle of the Federation, do you, do you have everything that you need? Um, let's put the foreign base players on one side, but do, do you have, with, with the ones, the players that you have that might end up being the ones you take to the tournament, do you have what you need as a team to prepare adequately for the World Cup? Yes, I have, I have, I have, I have everything I need to prepare for the World Cup. I have. One, my problem is just the time. The time frame. That is my, my only problem. Okay. Uh, what about the time frame, coach? The time frame, like uh, no time to train or what? Time to train, yes. Yeah. But, but the players have been in camp for like close to three or two weeks now. I mean, it's not enough for the girls to actually train. Because it's not actually enough because they have to go in and out of the camp to play the camp, just clubs. So it's not enough for me, for me to really it. But, Plan okay. Any plans for the Federation to actually organize uh, a friendly whether of any kind apart from playing against academy boys and some of the girls around? There's no plan. There's no plan. There's no plan for the team to go and play it all. Just for us to be playing. Just for us to arrange, 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 
average uh, friendly matches here to play in Nigeria here. Okay, uh, coach, uh, talking about what you just said now, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Uh, a lot of people always talk about training tours. To me, it's a disadvantage to the team. Okay. It's a disadvantage to the team. Since we, 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 we don't have matches to play, more than the matches we play here in Abuja, it's a disadvantage to the team. Okay, what was the plan you had for the girls? Like, did you give uh, the Nigerian Football Federation an outline of what you wanted before the tournament and what are the plans if you did? Yes, I gave them a program. I told them what I want. What were some I of the things now? Listed? They are, okay. are debating for me. They still have to go on play it all. At least two, three weeks play it all. But now they are, they are debating for me. Okay, it, it, there's a possibility that they may not go for the train, training tour. Is that what you're saying? Well, I don't know. I don't know. I'll still try to see if we can still go for the train tour. Okay, hopefully they should be able to go there. Thank you so much, Coach, for taking our time to talk to us this morning.